sometimes you just don't have the equipment that you need and that's okay that's where creativity comes into play we're learning math today okay okay welcome to math by mel highly don't recommend I wanted to discuss with you this magical creation that I found from Amazon. It's pretty sweet. So I talked in another video about my deck of cards idea that I learned when I was getting ready for the army and it's just an awesome workout. So I wanted to go over, I'll go over body weight today because honestly it's just super cool. And again, like if you're on the go, like it's easy to pack these cards, this little box. It's easy to pack those cards and the boxes into your luggage or into your backpack or you know, whatever. Or even to just take some pictures to take with you on your go. So what I really enjoy, I'm gonna come on the other side. So what I really enjoy about these is it shows you like lower body and how easy or hard it is. They also show you like where you should be feeling, I should have lowered the brightness, where you should be feeling it, which is incredibly important, especially when you're just starting out because you don't know if you're doing it right or not if you don't know which muscles you're supposed to be using. So this is why I think this is so great, especially if you are somewhere where you don't have very good access to the internet, like sometimes you're at the gym or whatever, and you just don't have access to be able to like download the stuff. So love, love, love that. We got back workouts, so you can do back bridges. That's again, where you can see like the difficulty levels. I think it's awesome and it gives you tips. So it's kind of like your built-in like recommendations. So I personally love this, like if you're looking for ideas, It'll like let you know if it's something that you're gonna be holding or if it's gonna be like a repetition. And then on the back it also, there's also this side. So you can just see like what the motion is and then it goes over more details on the back of how hard it is and more details of what you need to be doing. I will also be doing <laughs> something similar. But if you're a super visual learner, I'm not as artistic as these people are, but if you are just in need of something really quick to just take with you, like we have got some like core workouts, some planks, and let me go up to upper body. Upper body. So we have the pike push up. This is actually like one that I struggle with, so I'm really glad that's that it's ranked hard because I have the pike push up in one of my upper body days. And I'm constantly having to rewatch the video because I'm like, I don't understand what I'm doing. So just know, like, it's okay if you don't know what you're doing, but you still need to learn and you still need to practice because getting the movements and the techniques done the right way will help prevent you from getting injured. And getting injured is not fun because then it's gonna like delay your growth, delay you reaching your goals. But again, like, I think this is so cool. It also like shows you, cause again, these are all, oh my gosh, rude, there we go. So like, it can show you, like you can, it'll show like a bench or something sometimes. And so like, if you need a bench, just use a chair or like go to the park, go check out the bleachers. Most schools are open, um, like the half tracks, most of them are open. So you can go and run during like the morning or like during your lunch break and stuff like that just like make sure you check the school don't just like go onto a campus and then get kicked out and be like well creatively or i had it right and then i started saying creatively mel i'm naturally mel creatively well mel Cre creatively well we are creative we're just blending all the words today don't go and be like well mel told me that i could go and run this this school's track and then get kicked out and the police come for you. And I'm like, bruh, I didn't, I didn't tell you to do that. I just said that you could at select places. They also have stretches, which I think is really important because I think a lot of us are super, come back. I think a lot of us are not so good at stretching. I actually, if you can see over here, I have like a poster of stretches and yoga poses 
to remind myself, hey Mel, you gotta go do some stretches, remember, remember, because you aren't like five anymore, 12 years old anymore, like you gotta work out, and then stretch. But here's another thing I'm gonna share that I love about this, is that you can create, come on, focus, baby. You can create your own and use a dry erase marker. So, one of the things that I would love to be able to implement in a way to like kind of do like a custom creation for people is like we'll do like the create your own, right? With like a dry erase marker so that you can go in and like do a new workout. But you get to have that and then you can just be like, okay, number 50. All right, so number 50 is gonna be your workout, you know? So I think, I think that's really, I'm like, hello, hi, hello there, how are you? I think it's really cool for not only like you and your personal trainer's relationship for something quick on the go when you're traveling, but also like you don't have to take this entire thing. If you like say that I'm your trainer and I'm like, okay, I want you to do number three, number 34, 27, you know, whatever. Like you're gonna just bring those cards with you. So you're only gonna be bringing like, I feel like I'm doing a magic, pick a card, any card. Then you're only bringing like, let's see. One, two, four. So you'd be bringing like 12 cards with you out of the stack of like 50. So out of like the 50, 50 cards, you'll be bringing like 12 of them with you. Or no, fifth, math is hard. Four times four <laughs> is 12. Four, eight, no. Four, eight, 12, 16, <laughs> right? 16, because eight times two. I get, see? <laughs> Math, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Four times four <laughs> is 16, okay? Okay, because if you if you take eight times two, that's also 16. We're learning math today, okay? Okay, welcome to Math by Mel. Highly don't recommend. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this, it's also a really good high intensity workout because the goal is like you would do a certain number of them and then you would take your break and then you would do it however many times. So like depending on the person's fitness level and what their goals are, this would be, this is an awesome go-to. Again, they also have, I'll discuss these ones later and maybe I'll do some examples if you guys would like. If you, if you don't, I don't have to, but it's, it's a similar concept except some of them are with kettlebells, some of them are with medicine balls, stability balls. I actually don't even have a kettlebell, so I'm not sure why I bought this. <laughs> but that's okay. The other thing that's nice is like, to some degree, like even though it's a kettlebell workout, like you can still use a dumbbell or you can still use like a weight. Like there are times where I'll use a weight instead of dumbbells, or I'll use a weight instead of kettlebells. Or, you know, it's like you gotta use what you gotta use. And sometimes you just don't have the equipment that you need and that's okay, that's where creativity comes into play while still being smart about your form and all the things. But again, this is the body weight exercise card. I will leave the link. It's by, I think, My Fitness. Oh, New Me Fitness. It's by New Me Fitness and I mean, I bought, three of their posters too. So like if you're somebody who has your own gym and you wanna have those like visuals to kinda like pump you up and to like remind you which muscles you're working, like I think they were like $9 each. So check them out. I personally love them. If there's like a workout you would like me to do, I'm gonna be working on like showing examples of how to do different workouts so you can get a visual and I'll explain again like which muscles you should be feeling it under. So let me know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and like drop me a comment with like what you thought was the coolest thing about the body weight cards or any questions that you have relating to body weight exercises and I will get back to you soon. Okay, bye.